thousands gathered to witness the moment of impact as a comet hurdles through space on a direct collision course with Earth. Good thing it's only a movie, but very soon, everyone here will experience a deep impact of their own. The heavens will be awash in a spectacular light show created by a meteor shower. These dazzling meteor showers will be taking place any moment now. The show can be viewed on anywhere on the planet, but will be best viewed here in Asia. But why the Japanese garden? We are looking at a few criteria. It has to be a relatively dark site. So this place is, uh, you know, we can control the lights. Uh, because such a mass event, uh, uh, we expect to have a lot of people. We need a space and the area that's going to accommodate the people. That has to be dark and we have to have an east facing, which is basically that direction. So if the uh, clouds clear, the meteors will basically be originating from there. What are the chances of us seeing something tonight? It depends. I mean, the, right now it's still cloudy. Uh, you know, the weather in Singapore can change uh, very uh, drastically within uh, one, two hours. We are, hope, we are hopeful that at dawn uh, we'll get a break and uh, we'll be able to see something at least. These astronomers have aligned their telescopes to the night sky, ready to catch the slightest of sparks. The Leonid meteor shower takes place only once a year, but this year promises to be the most spectacular with hundreds of meteors predicted to light up the skies in the early morning. The crowd of thousands wait with bated breath while being entertained by scientist Mike Hoyland and musician Kenji Williams. Alright, so what are you here for tonight? For the Leonid's meteor shower. And what do you know about it? It originates from the constellation Leo and an outburst is expected, but there are a lot of clouds. I've heard that there will be about 200 to 300 units coming down, yeah. And it's right. been in between about 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. Right. Are you planning to stay the whole night? Yeah, I am. That's why we are all prepared, you know. Yeah, we brought uh, snacks and everything here. Ah, right. Some meteor just rang my luck to see whether there is some la, in Singapore right. actually, yeah. But so far, nothing eh. Oh, well, I want to see a big meteor shower storm coming. <laughs> From the sky. Okay, okay. Yeah, what? that's probably what I expect. Right, right, right. Yeah. And you're going to take a picture. What will make the perfect picture for you? Basically, some effect like the ring of the lights floating down from the sky, like a waterfall or something like that. Um, actually, it's just a gathering between our group members because of our hectic uh, working life. So we try to take a break, um, like enjoy this uh, serenity out here and uh, uh, take a look at something that don't really come by very often, I see. Yeah. Right. Joining the stargazers was MP for Jurong GLC, Mr. Taman Shanmugaratnam. Mr. Shanmugaratnam, it's pretty rare to see a minister here at such an event. Are you a star lover yourself? Uh, I'm not, not a star lover myself because I don't understand it very well. Uh, but I was so impressed by the fact that so many people have come tonight. So it's a, it's a wonderful event. It's a great evening, nice and cool. Hopefully the clouds will part afterwards and make it uh, even more worthwhile. But even a minister doesn't have the power to clear the skies. I think the weather is not very good. Uh. It's quite cloudy. Haven't seen anything yet. Actually, I don't think I can see anything. Uh. So cloudy here. <laughs> yeah. will, you, will you be disappointed if you don't see anything? Yeah, of course. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Um, actually, uh, this, mo uh, this evening right, it was raining very badly, so we don't really expect anything, just a small gathering like this. Will you be disappointed if you don't see anything? Definitely. Because it's like we are spending so much hours over here. And if we don't see anything, I'll be, I'll be upset. Uh. At least it's my first time in Japanese garden, so no, I'm not disappointed. Okay, yourself? Um, it doesn't matter. We have experienced this many times. For now though, all the stargazers can do is wait and wait. Hours pass and still nothing. As the day breaks, the crowd trickles out of the Japanese garden tired from the overnight wait, some staying for as long as 12 hours. What do you see tonight? Oh, we saw some brief flashes of light in the sky, and then we saw a lot, a lot of stars, yeah. And a lot, a lot of clouds, more than, yeah, more than enough <laughs> clouds. But why do you think uh, we couldn't see any of the meteor showers tonight? Um, perhaps it's also because of Singapore's um, sky condition. Number one is like light pollution. Number two, it's not really you can't really see it in Singapore, especially in this sort of sky. How do you feel like waiting four hours and in the end you only see of two course. or three? First one is sleepy. <laughs> feel like going home and sleep yeah. and like like maybe next time. I was like dozing off. <laughs> so sleepy, yeah. Very long. I waited very long. Even though we didn't see any meteors, but 
we still enjoy ourselves and we had a lot of fun. How was the whole experience like for you? Um, disappointing. Because we were like expecting meteor showers. Uh, well, I only managed to catch about uh, three meteors or so. Right. Yeah. So how are you a bit disappointed? Uh, most definitely. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, because uh, I think the weather uh, was not too good and it was uh, cloudy. So that could uh, be one of the reasons why we, we saw very few meteors tonight. And also the predictions are, are not 100% accurate. So it be, could be out by a couple of hours to as much as a day or so. So it's very unpredictable, yeah. It's 7am here at the Japanese Garden and the meteor shower that everybody has been waiting for was a meteor no-show. I guess we'll just have to wait another year or so to see if we have better luck next time.